we're going to a vintage radio controlled car racing event. So most of them down the club are racing this brand new re-release Schumacher Pro Cat. So I want to see if I can beat them. And I'm going to be racing a Manta Ray from the 90s. Which was my dream RC car when I was a kid. I got my first one at 10 years old and it took me two years to save up for it. Yep, this is my first ever hobby grade RC car. More on this later. So in the instruction manual, if you go right to the back, you can see all the hop-up options. I remember looking at these before I went to bed just dreaming about all these upgrades and I just couldn't afford to get them. So that's how I ended up with this. So cheap wheels and tyres, bits of Meccano, homemade camber links, some kind of bodgery going on there, cellar tape on the drive shaft. Anyway, the Top Force Evo is basically a manta ray but with all the upgrades. And here it is. Now if we look at all these upgrades on here, this car here has most of them but it does have a Top Force Evo chassis and and that one doesn't. So I'm going to put a plastic chassis onto it. The vintage race requires us to use this speed controller, these tyres, and a 17.5 turn variable degree timing motor. Now I wanted to get a cheapo motor, but nowhere had any in stock. So I had to buy this. This was like £100, $120 for a slow motor. It's quite expensive, but that's all I could get, so that's all we got. Right, let's get building. And then go racing to see if we can beat the Schumacher Pro Cat. So first of all, we need to remove the carbon fibre chassis and replace it with the plastic tub chassis. And to keep it vintage, I'm using this old Stanley screwdriver that I borrowed from my dad when I first built my first ever Manta Ray. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Look, the top four steering is different, it's all hitting. Luckily here, I have an old Manta Ray chassis, so we can pinch the steering out of this one. That's the piece we need. Oh no, look at the steering. I think because of this different steering rack, this must be a different length in the middle, so we need to adjust these. There might not be enough adjustments, so we might need to get longer ones. Boom! Next servo, here I've got a KST. If you look at the specification, absolutely crazy speed. Look at that, all metal cased, all metal geared. By the way, if you want to know where we can get this servo from and everything else that you see in this video, there's going to be a link to that down below. Next, we got to fit the motor. Whoa, that motor's got some compression. It might actually be pretty fast. Next, speed controller. Next up, a receiver. I'm going to use this Spectrum one so I can use my Spectrum DX5. If you're wondering what this yellow is, it's foul curry. It won't come off. Give me a break. Boom. So next, we've got to put the battery in and it doesn't go in. So if you look at the Manta Ray, it's got a round battery compartment for these old school style nickel metal hydrides, whatever the hell you call them. So I've got a Co-Rally LiPo here that's supposed to sort of mimic it. However, it doesn't mimic it enough. No problem, we have a file. Next, so let's see if it works. Oh my God. Check out the speed of that servo. And will it drive? Yes. I'll tell you what, it hasn't got any brakes. It's got a little bit, but not much. But we have a program card. Please upgrade software. How? Anyway, not gonna worry about that for now. So for now, let's have a look at the wheels and tires. It's nice.
Right, we're done. Let's go racing. Oh, before we go, Vinny's just turned up and he's got his Schumacher. Let's have a look. So that is what I'm going to be up against. Yeah. Is the man today going to beat the Schumacher? Probably beat my Schumacher, put it that way. But anyway, here it is in all its glory. So we've got fiberglass chassis, Eco Boost Servo, the same tyres. All 17.5 that. Go on, give us a little whip. Alright, I'm bored now. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, yeah, but one thing, one thing yours hasn't got. Schumacher's iconic crash back system. So if I crash. Crash back? If I crash. That moves that. Oh. Hopefully nothing will break. Does it go back to the same spot afterwards? Yep. Why can't I do that on modern cars? You know why? They wouldn't sell any spares. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go. So here we are on location. Here's the vintage racing. I'm supposed to be in that one, but we've got this. So first round, I'm missing out. Vinny has broken his vintage. I've not even run it yet. Ah. Oh. So Mike over there, he's got the Hobby Wing program thingy-majig, so we've just given it full break. Hopefully, we're going to do all right. Anyway, round two, my go. Who's going to explain how the racing format works? So three qualifying rounds. I've missed the first one. You have. You do your best time over five minutes. That puts you and sees you into one to wherever, and then the finals. Right, so we've got to try and get into the A final with the Jalopy. So here's heat number one with the vintage. So we got a Pro Cat. A, what's that one? Pro Cat? Pro Cat. We got, a, we got a pinky there, look. We got a pinky. Hey, what's that? Pro Cat? Everyone's all Pro Catted up. Vinny's Pro Cat is broken before he even came here. All right, get him ready. Get him ready. Get the tyres warmed up. There you go. Kevy's on the vintage. Oh, there goes the Manta Rain. Okay, so here we have the Cobra, Marday, Kev's Manta Rain, Laser, Kyosho, Pro Cat, because everybody keeps buying Pro Cats these days, and a proper old school Pro Cat, one of the originals. And is Kev going to beat them? Mm. Oh no! He fluffed it straight away. What's he got? What's got to deal with? Oh no. Can you come and look over there? All I can see is his stupid aerial sticking up. And he's got a big belly as well. <laughs> and he's got his belly in the way, yeah. <laughs> Concentration face, look. He wants to be famous, doesn't he? Oh, I know he made me crash again. T-bind oh. by Royal Car. There's Kev. Trying to keep up with the leader. Ooh. Five. Games, yes. Where do you reckon you come? I reckon I came last. Third? Third? Third. No way. How hell? Next race first. Oh. Mark's done a little bit of maintenance for Charlie's car. 1980s. There we go, Pro Cat. We've already seen Vinny's one. Same in it, Vinny's. It is the same, yeah. Although I've got a shell, suit body shell. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's watching football, boring. So what one's this one? It's the mid. So that's the optimum mid. It's the mid re-release. And was yeah. that the race winner? It was. Oh, we've got Pinky's weapon here. What's Pinky got? A boss cat. Boss cat? Yep. Is it an actual vintage, this one? Yep. Running order at four minutes yeah. And his tyre was off as well. Is that the winner? That's the winner. Let's have a look. So the winner was Stuart with the, what is it? It's a laser. The laser. Number second is Mr. Paces. Have a look in there. So this is a two wheel drive old school Mardo. Is it an actual old one? Maybe. Steel chassis? Yep. There you go. And the tyre's hanging off. And he's kicking my butt. Oh no, Vinny's hijacked the controller for the Manta Ray. Don't break it. It's a final winning car there. That's good. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this one here is a modern RC car. This one is a Associated B, what is it? 6.3. So in vintage, we qualified fourth. That's still in the A final. Here we go, vintage B final. Come on, Manta Ray, you can do it. Oh, Kev moves up to the third place. Second place, third place. Come on, Kev, push, push, push. Don't let me crash. 
They've lumped a second. Rich is coming for him. He might be a lap down though. Never a 17.5 in there. Would it? Yeah. Now would you qualify him? He's not running a 17 and a half. So this is second place, man. We would have been if we wouldn't have cheated. So what time motor have you got in yours? 17.5. Really? No way. Look how fast it is. And oh look, and he's cheating on tyres as well. We've got to use these tyres, and he's cheating. Let's have a look at his cheater motor. Actually, you can't tell from there. Ah, it's a cheater motor, isn't it? Strip it. <laughs> there we go. There are the results. Thank <laughs> you.